Hello and welcome. My name is Lexi Jong and here I like to talk about luxury beauty. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Hermes lipsticks. So there have been four new shades released in the permanent line. This is the first time I've seen new shades released in the permanent line for the Hermes lipsticks since their original launch. Right now they are available at Selfridges, but they will be coming to other retailers. So let's start off with the packaging. The packaging is going to be the same as previously released Hermes lipsticks. And we've got our packaging here, just cardboard box. You've got the little window here showing you the orange inside. And when we open that up, we have a push through Hermes box. Inside that we have a little canvas tube holding our lipstick. So this here is our color story for permanent edition lipstick shades. So we've got the Hermes logo disc. It's a concave disc at the top. And then we have kind of this white ceramic. If it's a matte shade like this one, we're going to have a black matte. If it's satin, you can see we're going to have more of a glossy ceramic center here. And then we have this brush satin gold at the bottom. So all permanent shades will be in this and these lipsticks are refillable. You just pull this out, snap it in. Now as for closure, these are fairly strongly magnetic. This is going to be a heavy duty metal case all around. Very luxurious. Let's take a look at some lip swatches while we talk a little bit more about the formula and this, these products. Then we're going to move on to arm swatches and a few comparisons. So as I mentioned, there are currently four new shades that have been released as part of the permanent line, and these are currently available at Selfridges, coming soon to other retailers. These lipsticks are made in Italy. They have an 18 month shelf life, and there's three and a half grams of product. These lipsticks were originally designed by Pierre Hardy, and you know I think he did a great job designing these. I think the aesthetic is gorgeous, it's classic. I really do like these. When the original Hermes lipsticks launched, uh, I do I have noticed that the formula has been tweaked and updated since the original launch. So the satins still seem fairly similar. However, they do feel a bit more hydrating on my lips than the first couple that I purchased. And the mattes, the original mattes, they had an issue where sometimes, you know, after you use them, they would get bumpy afterwards. Like there would be bumps that developed on the actual lipstick bullet. And, you know, it was just a little weird. The newer mattes, and this is true for the limited edition shades as well, they are going to be very thin, kind of more of a silicone type texture going on, and they dry to a more powdery finish. And I have not, you know, seen any bumps or any sort of, you know, issues with the actual product either in the bullet or on the lips in at least a year now. So uh, overall, I do think the formulas have been tweaked. I think they have improved. And I think both formulas, the matte and the satin now are really nice formulas and they're definitely more hydrating than the original formulas that were released. Uh, you know, upon the original launch. Now, as for the refillable aspect, I think it's really great that these are refillable lipsticks. However, uh, the limited edition shades that always come out, I absolutely love them. I get very attracted to them. They come in beautiful limited edition packaging, but you can't purchase limited edition shades as a refill. So you are limited to those in the, you know, actual permanent line. So these might be some options you know, once they are available as refills, which should happen, um, once these are available as refills, if you have some limited edition packaging or you've used up a previous one, you know, purchase a refill and put this in there. But it's really great to see some new shades in the permanent line that are being released. So we have three satins and a matte. Let's take a closer look. We're going to start off with number 20. This is Beige Dotant. And take a look at this. So when you look at the actual bullet on the outside, you don't notice any shimmer or anything until you use it. And you can now see that there is a little bit of like a silver shimmer in the actual bullet. So let's take a swatch of this. Here is one sheer layer. And then let's just build that up a little bit so we can see what that looks like. You can see the shimmer is more evident once you spread that out, but it's not going to be like glittery. There is going to, it's going to increase the light reflection here 
and you will see a tiny bit of shimmer. Overall, this is going to be a kind of a rosy brown shade. This is the one that I'm currently wearing on my lips as well. And to say in the photos, it did look a little bit cooler than it is. There are definitely some warmer undertones in here. There is a touch of gold in the undertones in this. So it's kind of like a golden rose brown shade. So think, think of like rose gold a, a little bit mixed in there. This one here is 79 satin. And this is Rouge et Rabla. And I love this shade. I think this is actually my favorite of the new shades. I really, really like this. You can see it's going to be this beautiful kind of like a, a brick red that's a little bit cooler than your typical brick red. So you've got a touch of orange in there, but you also have a touch of cherry. And I think just think it's a really beautiful shade. I think it's going to be very wearable for a lot of people, especially for people who kind of want to go full red, but are quite ready to go there yet. This is going to be a great alternative. Next, we have 82, another satin. This is Rouge Vigne. And again, another absolutely beautiful shade. In the bullet, it looks a little bit warmer. Once you put it on the skin, you can see there's definitely going to be a bit more of a blue base. This is going to be a cooler. It's actually more like if you take like the reddest raspberries and you crush them up, this is like a crushed raspberry shade. I think it is stunning. And honestly, like it's been released now, but I think this is going to be like the perfect shade for summer. So really beautiful. If you're going on vacation somewhere this winter, you know, and you want to pop a color, this is a great shade for that as well. And then last up, we have 97. This is matte purpura figure. And again, a really beautiful shade. Right off the bat, this actually reminded me of one of the Guerlain lipsticks. So these are our new shades. We have 20, 79, 82, 97. So 20 is satin beige d'automne. We have 79 satin, which is going to be uh, Rouge et Rabla. We have 82 satin Rouge Vigne and we have 97 matte purpura figure. Let's take a look at a few comparisons. This is one of the original ones that launched. This is 13 Beige Kalahari, and you can see that this one also has a touch of shimmer in it, and that's why I really wanted to compare this. So this shade here, though, you can see how much warmer it is. It's gonna be a little bit softer, but notice that it has a little bit more of that orangey look to it. Definitely has more yellow undertones in it. Overall, for my particular preference, I do prefer the 20 Beige Dotum over the uh, Beige Kalahari, but you can see they're both really beautiful shades there, and they both have the same shimmer. So if you have Beige Kalahari or you're familiar with it, it's going to give you the same effect uh, with Beige Dotum uh, in reference to the shimmer. This here is a limited edition shade. This is 45 satin. This is uh, rose ombre, and this is definitely one of my favorite shades here from Hermes. And look at that. You can see it's kind of like a dusty rose. It's going to be a little bit cooler, a little bit pinker than Beige Kalahari. Definitely not nearly as brown as Beige Dotum. And then this is the Guerlain Rouge G in number eight. And this is, I think it's called Nude Alchemy or something like that. Uh, but this is from the holiday shade, the holiday range from Guerlain. And I have to say, this is like a go-to shade for me. I wanted to compare this though because they do have some similarities. You can see that Guerlain is going to be rosier. There's more pink in there. It does not really have the shimmer that you have uh, in the Beige Dotom. And Beige Dotom definitely is just going to have a bit more brown to it. All right, so next up we're looking at 79 Rouge et Rabla, and I wanted to compare this with the limited edition shade from Hermes. This is 76 Matte Rouge Cenabra, and this, it just made me kind of think of this originally, but you can see Rouge Cenabra is going to be more red. There's going to be a little bit more orange, a little bit more of that brick shade in the Rouge et Rabla. And another one it made me think of is a Guerlain Rouge G. This is from the Legendary Reds. And this comes in satin or matte. But this one here is 1830. 
and I'm gonna put this one right here because that's kind of you know my closest match you can see however that the Guerlain is going to be a bit more orange but it is really going to give you it's the closest one I have actually to the Rouge et Rabla shade now another Guerlain Rouge G in Legendary Red. We're gonna put this down here so we can look at this with the Rouge Vigne as well. This one here is 1870. You can see this is gonna be more of a true neutral red. And the um, this one here, the Rouge Vigne, is definitely gonna be a bit cooler in tone. It has more of that cherry vibe to it. And this is the Hermes Limited Edition, you know, current limited edition. This is 62 matte in Rouge Fieu. And this is going to be a bit too too warm, but I did just want to compare it just to kind of see how the color stories went. And this is an Armani Lip Power in 507. This is actually a new shade from Armani. And it's going to be a bit more pink, but it does have kind of a similar vibe to it. And last up, let's look at the uh, Porpora Figue. And the first thing it made me think of is this shade from the Holiday Collection from Guerlain Rouge G. And this one here is number 777. I'm gonna put this one vertically here. You can see that the Guerlain is gonna be more pink. The Hermes is definitely gonna be more purple. Another couple of comparisons. This is the Chantecaille Lip Chic in Orchid. And Obviously, we're gonna have a different finish here. This is gonna be a high shine finish versus a matte. Color-wise, they are gonna be fairly similar. There is gonna be more of a deeper, like eggplant purple shade in the Hermes. And then last up, this is one of the uh, Dries Van Noten. This is matte number 80. And let's take a look at this one here. And you can see this one actually has more red in it. So the Dries Van Noten is just a little bit more boysenberry than the Hermes. So I hope these were helpful and I'd love to know what you think of the new shades from Hermes down below. So please let me know in the comments, share this video with anybody you think this might help. And thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscription button down below and I'll see you very soon. So have a wonderful day.